Uh, hello, good afternoon. I have about seven questions here with me, which are all set by Waek, uh, and I want us to give them a try. This very first question, it says, find the value of x in the figure below. So this is the x we are going to find, and it is just as we send to this angle 60. And if you can remember your Sokatua, this is opposite hypotenuse and we only have adjacent and uh, hypotenuse this is cos adjacent hypotenuse so we are going to use this cos so cos of 60 degrees you know it is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse and adjacent is this x while the hypotenuse which is the longest side is 2 root 3 but cos 60 degrees is 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 equals x divided by 2 root 3 by cross multiplication we have 2x equals 2 root 3 and we are looking for x therefore we divide both sides by 2 we divide both sides by 2 this cancel this and at the same time, we have two here, we have two here, so each one cancel out. So therefore, the value of this x, the length of this side adjacent, is going to be just root 3 centimeters. So this is the value of this length. Question number two. In this uh, diagram, we are asked to find the angle BED, BED, which is an exterior angle. These two marks shows that a triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle which has equal base. So therefore, even this angle is going to be 30 degrees. To find angle BCD, BCD, angle BCD is going to be uh, 30 plus 30, 30 plus 30 degrees because the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles which are 30 and 30 this will make it to be equal to 60 degrees so therefore this angle here is 60 degrees but we are looking for this angle E here angle B B E D is also exterior angle which is the same thing as the sum of the interior opposite angle we have BCD, this one is BCD, plus the other angle is CDE. Uh, and this angle here is uh, 60 degrees, plus, and the other angle is 25 degrees. So therefore, angle BED is going to be 85 degrees. In the diagram above, if the area of this square is 162 centimeters square, calculate the radius of this cycle. The formula to calculate the area of a square is area of a square equals to L squared. Because we need to find the length of each of these sides. But the area of a square is given as 162 which is the same thing as L square. So each of this length is going to be is going to be equal to the square root of 162. The square root of 162 is going to be the length of each of these sides. We have to take the positive one because we don't have a negative uh, length. But the question says we should find the Radius of this cycle. Radius is any part of the circumference to the center from here to here. It's a radius. And from here down here is also another radius. But if you look at it, it is a hypotenuse of this triangle. This is another right angle triangle with hypotenuse this side. Since we have obtained the length of each of this side to be square root of 162. And also this one is square root of 162. Therefore, the hypotenuse we can apply Pythagoras theorem, which says that if this side is h, we can say h squared equal to. So 
square root of 162 squared plus square root of 162 also squared. Because it says hypotenuse squared is equal to opposite squared plus the adjacent squared. H squared equal to this will cancel this. We have 162 plus this square will also cancel this square root. We end up having 162 again. H squared is now equal to if we add all this together, we are going to obtain 324 altogether. But we are looking for only H, which is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. By taking the square root of each side, we are going to have square root of 324. And the square root of 324 is equal to 18. Therefore, the length of this hypotenuse is 18. But this hypotenuse is diameter. Diameter is a line that divides the circle into two. And half of a diameter is radius. And this is equal to diameter. Radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. So therefore, radius is equal to 18 divided by 2, which is equal to 9 centimeters. So this is the radius of this cycle. Now we are asked to find the area of the shaded part in this diagram. Um, this is a sector. All you have to do is first of all find the area of the entire sector. Subtract the area of this triangle. Whatever the value left is the area of this. So let's give it a try. Will be equal to the entire area is theta all over 360 times pi r squared is the formula to find this area of the entire shape then subtracting the area of a triangle we left the area of this and the area and the formula to find the area of this triangle is r squared divided by 2 sine of theta now we substitute each of these values our theta is the angle subtended by the sector which is 56. So we have 56 divided by 360 times pi is constant which is 22 divided by 7 times r squared which is 15 times 15. Then subtract, we are going to subtract the area of uh, triangle which is r squared 15 times 15 divide by 2 divide by 2 then multiply by sine 56 degrees all right let us calculate all everything together fifty six times 22 times 15 times 15 equals 277,200 then we divide by 360 divide by 360 then we divide by 7 again divide by 7 110 110 is the area of the entire sector and this is the area of the triangle we need to subtract it from that 15 times 15 divided by 2 then multiplied by sine 56 and we have 93.267 then we subtract from that 100 and 10 and this equal to 16.73 centimeter square find the angle x above this is a triangle enclosed in a cycle and this line aob is diameter and the line that divides a cycle into two so it is a low that angle subtended by diameter it's 90 degrees so this angle here is 90 degrees 
you don't even have to write it. Having these two equal marks, it means that the base angles are also the same. So it is an isosceles right angle triangle. So even this angle is going to be x. They are going to have the same value. And you know the total angles in a triangle are 180 degrees. So by adding all of them together, x plus x plus 90 degrees, we'll have, <coughs> we'll have 180 degrees. This is 2x. Uh, plus 90 degrees equal to 180 degrees 2x equals to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees and then 2x again equal to 180 minus 90 is 90 degrees um, we divide both sides by 2 in order to obtain the value of x therefore x equal to this cancel this 90 divided by 2 is 45 degrees therefore this angle is 45 degrees example 6 find angle ACD above uh, it is a law in a cycle theorem that angles subtended from the same arc to other part of the circumference of a cycle are the same so therefore this angle and this angle are going to be the same so if I call this x this one is going to also be x and this is an exterior angle of this triangle ABO so therefore this angle plus this angle is going to give us this 20 degrees plus x is going to be 60 degrees. Therefore, x equals to 60 minus 20 degrees. And x equals to 40 degrees. This angle here is 40 degrees. But I told you this angle and this angle are the same because they are subtended from the same arc. So therefore, ACD is also equal to 40 degrees.